Hi, welcome to another video. I'm a little bit shorter this one. I just want to give you an update of how I've been getting on so far. So, I've done the linear rails onto the C-section aluminium pieces. I'm now creating the part two, which is the Z-axis configuration. Stepper motor is now bolted on top. 3D, two 3D printed parts there, if you can see. None of it's tightened up yet, and a coupling there. Just wanted to get, make a few points when you go to build yours. Don't make the mistake I did. On the back end there, you need to use the low profile screws, or the, the heads. You don't want the protruding heads, you want the low heads. Otherwise that um, aluminium post will foul on the cap head. So you need the low profile screws there, if you can see that. They're flat, they're flush. Coupling in there, none of it's tightened up properly yet. Coupling in there, which connects your lead screw to your stepper motor, stepper motor's on, wiring at the back, coming out the back of the stepper motor. Uh, another point to note, I threaded the lead screw through. When you first thread it through, you put on lock nut, then the shim. You'll figure it out when you go to do it, but you put a lock nut, shim washer, and bearing, which sits in the plate there. And the same at the top here. You can't see it because it's not been tightened up. If you look, I've got a, if I can tap that out. There's a bearing inside there. There's a bearing inside there. Washer and lock nut. None of it's tightened up yet. A minute forward if you can get a view of it. Bearing, washer, lock nut. None of it's tight yet. I've just got to get hold of some Allen keys. So bearing, washer, lock nut, and then the lead screw goes into there. Another point to note, when I did mine, I needed to loosen up these screws for the blocks. It wouldn't quite line up properly, so I don't know what I did wrong earlier in an early stage. I've done something slightly out of line. So I loosened these up slightly, fed that through there, fed that through there. So it's all running okay now. As I say, it's not tightened up yet because um, I've got to get over some more ankies. One more point to note before I leave you. As I said, it's only going to be a short video today. I've left the, um, the red uh, plastic plugs in the holes at the end of the rails and I said in my last video you need to remove these you don't remove them until you build it but obviously I've, I should have removed those before I did it so I've not got down to full travel it's only a five mil but what I need to do now I've, I've not got the Aggies anyway so I'm going to take this back end off take this end off take these red plugs out and put in the um, I think they're three mil by ten mil long put those cap heads in with the back washers pull up washers that'll be that done then they're only left in there initially to stop the bearings falling out of the um, the carriages. So that's that. So none of that's tight yet. I just thought I'd pop on here and do a quick video to show you basically the mistakes that I made. Okay, you might need to loosen these screws up to align the lead screw. Don't forget to take these plugs out and put the other cap head screws in, the freemium ones, and make sure, the instructions do say use low profile cap heads, but it's, it doesn't sort of like, don't mention it a couple of times, so. The low profile screws there. Right, that's all for that video. I won't be going much further with this today, but I will be taking these cap heads out and get those cap head screws in properly, the three mil ones properly, and nip it back up. It's all nipped up at the moment. I've got to get hold of some um, Allen keys and do it, give it a proper tighten. And I think on this job, I think you need three mil Allen key, five mil Allen key, and a small spanner to grab hold of the nuts at the back there. In actual fact, I've got a socket set to do that, so. That's fine. So that's it. That's all for this video. It's just a short, quick one to pop on and uh, give you a few hints and tips. Basically, don't get to take those plugs out and put the four screws in either end. I mean, it's not a major issue. You could leave them out, but it's best to take, put them in. That's where it'll go now. So, yeah. Doesn't it get to some more anchors and nip all this up? And so the main thing is, I said, I said earlier, is these screws at the back. So that's it, people. I just wanted to pop on and give you a few hints and tips and <laughs> let you avoid the mistakes that I made. I did mention on the Facebook group, no one's reply, replied yet. I did post on the Facebook group initially about these posts were failing on the screws. Then I realised my own mistake. One other thing I did post on there, I did ask whether it should be advisable to grind the end of the lead screws down, put a little flat on them so it grips in the, so it grips in the um, coupler a little bit better. But I've got a feeling when the grub screw nips on, it should grip on the thread of the lead screw. Anyway, so it should be fine. That's all for now. I won't do much more, but I'll fiddle about. I'll leave you to it because the last little video was a little bit longer than I thought. I'm going to do a few little bits today and I'm going to have a bit of a rest on this. I'm going to grab out of some Alan and some other tools and do a bit more in a week and video that. 
I hope you're following on, hope you enjoyed this video so far. If you're buying one of these, I'm hoping there's a few little hints and tips in these videos to help you along the way. Don't make the same mistakes I've made. Not, nothing major yet, to be fair. Little bits and bobs, but um, so far, so good. I'm pleased with it. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Ta-da.